hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we'll see that how to check whether a number is armstrong or not so armstrong number means basically let's say if you are given a number here 153 153 so if you multiply if you if you multiply each digits by the number of order it has so number of order means so what is the number of digits it contains so like in this case it contains three digits three digits so multiply multiply each digit uh, this number of times right so like here i am multiplying one three times plus five three times plus three three times and if i add them whether it equals to the given number or not right so if it is equals it means this number is armstrong number right so like what i did first of all find the number of digits right so the word the number of digits is three now uh, now multiply mul now multiply each number by this number of digits number of digit times right so like here we have three times so it means uh, first of all i will multiply one three times now again five three times three three times and then add all these numbers right so if i if i add if i calculate this uh, this is 1 plus 125 126 and this is uh, 27 so which equals to 153 right it means this number is armstrong right so here i have the uh, code check if armstrong number so first of all my aim is to find out the order the what that how many digits lies in the number so uh, this is how i am doing so i have taken a variable temp which is storing the variable and i am doing it until it is greater than 0 and uh, uh, for each iteration i am doing temp equal to temp uh, divided by 10 and increase the order so this will basically give me the number of digits it contains right so at the last when time will be uh, zero my order will be calculated so for 153 it will be three right so uh, now again i am storing the variable the temp equal to again value value means my starting value right so like in this case if i'm solving 153 right now uh, now my aim is to calculate the sum finally right so what i'll do for the number of order I'm I'm basically uh, uh, starting from the end, right? And I'm saying sum equals to sum plus temp remainder by 10. So temp remainder by 10 means so for the 153, for 153 it will be three, right? It will be three and order. So so we have a function in uh, Java we have math dot power. So this means it says that I will basically power for the given number and whatever is the order. So here uh, I have uh, 3 to power 3 right and after that I will decrease the temp by divided by 10 so now it will be 15 of 153 right so now again it will do and it will do 15 so it means 5 power by 3 again it will add the sum and again it will decrease the temp so it will be 1 again it will do 1 to the power 3 right and at the last it is it will add in the complete sum so at the last we'll check that if our this sum equals to the value or not if it is equals it means we have found out our values else it will return false right so basically uh, as, as you have seen what we were doing first of all first of all uh, we check we checked for the remainder 10 3 so 3 to the power order which is 3 plus then again 5 to the power 3 and plus 1 to the power 3 and at the last our temp become 0 so at the last we'll check that whether this number equals or not right so this is uh, this was the basic problem not a tough one we are simply uh, we are simply doing the order of each digits and checking at the last right and if you talk about the complexity so uh, complexity is big of n because first of all we are finding out the number of digits so th this will happen in big of n and then we are doing power so again for each iteration we are doing we are operating the function and we are doing multiplication right so uh, that's it guys about this video if you have any doubt regarding it please write in the comment section and uh, if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you